This pocket is always my matches and simple stuff, and it's just stuff that, oh, pack of gum in there. It wakes you up at two in the morning when you've been on the trail four days, you throw in a piece of hot cinnamon gum, and it's a good wake-up call. <laughs> Having the right gear with you can be the difference between winning and losing, and also life and death. So what gear do mushers take with them out on the trail? Do we have mandatory gear we have to carry? Do we have to carry a dog food cooker? Do we use alcohol in that cooker to heat snow, melt snow, create water for the dogs and ourselves? I carry a cooler to carry the food for the dogs. We have to have an ax, carry snowshoes um, in case we have to break trail for the dogs in a storm. Temperatures on the trail can be brutally cold, so how do mushers stay warm for days at a time? We're not wearing the wool and canvas that people did in the early days. It's a lot more Gore-Tex and, and high-tech gears with high-tech insulation. And What I wear today is all custom-made gear, custom-tailored to where I want the pockets, how I want the insulation. It's very warm, it's very lightweight, breathes well, it dries out quickly, and uh, doesn't hold, hold much moisture. So you don't wear cotton. Cotton holds moisture, it's gonna get you cold and you're gonna freeze to death in it. I mean, I have probably 80% of what I need on me. My beaver mitts, which may or may not be on me. I do have a spare bag of clothing um, because things happen on the trail. The mushers aren't the only ones wearing special gear. The dogs are also outfitted to keep them safe and comfortable. I mean, when they're running a thousand miles in eight or nine days, you, you protect their feet. So booties are probably one of the most critical gear items that we use in the sport. Lots of mushers use dog coats to help protect them and hold their body heat in. I stick with the old school X-back harnesses because it hugs the dog's front, the shoulder, the neck, and it's it, if it properly fits the dog, it spreads the weight over the, the back, the neck, the shoulders and everything on the dog, and it's not putting stress on it anywhere. So, as you can see, getting geared up to mush is serious business. I carry just a small radio. I can pick up KNOM on the way to Unicleet, and then from Unicleet to Nome, I can listen to the radio all the way to the finish line.